In this video, I will show you how to install the JFrog CLI and connect to your JFrog instance. Let's go! For this, you have to go to jfrog.com slash CLI. It will be a redirect to this URL you will see here. And then you will see install the latest version of JFrog CLI with the different installers that we are providing, including the binaries if you just want to download the binary. I'm using macOS X, so I'm using Homebrew, copying the um, command, going to the terminal, paste and let it go. On your side it will be a little bit slower and uh, you will see more log files. I installed it already, so this is why it's just saying it's already installed and up to date. Now I have the command jfrog, the command line. You will see if you're just typing the command line, the overview of all commands, we are going to the jfrog config because we want to connect now against the um, jfrog platform. You will see here with jfrog config the submenus that are available and we need, for example, the jfrog add command. jfrog config add. I want to choose a server I just created for this video. So I'm selecting a logical name, DevSegops 202030, that's my logical name. Now I need the URL for this. You're going just to your instance and you're copy pasting this URL if you want it or you can type it, it's up to you. Then you can check if this is exactly the URL if you have this one. For example, if you have a homegrown installation in your company, it could be a little bit different, but if you're going to the cloud, it you have to do nothing at this point. Just save and continue. I'm accessing now the, or I'm doing the authorization with username and password. Then I'm using my username for this instance. and my password. If you're using the cloud version, you definitely have no reverse proxy in your private installation on-prem. It could be ask your um, IT department for this. Here, no. Now the configuration is done. Now we have to add the configuration um, or we have to use this configuration. If this is active, you can jfrog config show. Then you see all the active or all the configurations that are available. The green one is the active one. If you want to switch to another configuration, jfrog config use with a command devsecops. Now I show. I switch the configuration. Now the command line will use this instance. If I want to switch back and remove a configuration, it's quite easy. JFrog config use. I'm using another one. JFrog config remove devsec. Oops. And the logical name. Then I will be asked if I really want to leave it as yes, in this case I want it. And let's see if this config is removed. Voila, the config is removed. Done. 